few years ago, he came to our EIC and said, I have something for you to file. And um, I said, what is it? He says, uh, you'll see. He emailed it to him. It was his obituary. So he didn't trust anyone to write it. <laughs> Peter was a real character. <laughs> yeah. And um, so they came, it was brought to me and I read it. And I just it sent a chill. It said, the first line, if you're reading this, I am dead. <laughs> How's that for a lead? <laughs> and, you know, Peter Worthington was a World War II veteran. He was a gunner in World War II. He was a uh, battalion commander, platoon commander in the Korean War as a lieutenant. Um, he was an intelligence officer in the K Korean War. And uh, he was an incredible war veteran. And Peter, Peter actually said to me once, I really loved war. Like he liked, he, you know, it sounds funny, but he said just the adrenaline um, being there. And he said it was just a fascinating time. So uh, when he left uh, the military, uh, he did his degree in journalism and thought, what sort of business can I get in? where I have that kind of adrenaline and I can contribute and I can... So uh, he ended up at the Telegram in 56. So he, uh, he covered the world for the Telegram. The Nigerian Civil War, the Six Day War, Angola, Algiers. Peter was beaten in Egypt when they thought he was an Israeli. And uh, he survived that. He was shot in Algiers through his shirt, covering a story. Peter Worthington was fearless. In 63, he was covering uh, the Lee Harvey Oswald trial when Kennedy was assassinated. He was in an underground parking lot, and the FBI thought he was one of them. That was Peter. He would inject himself into these situations. They're transporting Oswald, and he's in a room. Jack Ruby jumps out shoots Oswald dead, Peter is five feet away. That's the type of individual Peter was. And he was just so modest about it. So in the 70s, the Sun uh, attacked, we, well, he was the founding EIC of the Sun, November 1st, 71, for the first issue, one of the founding partners with Creighton and Hunt. In the 70s, they attacked the Trudeau government fearlessly, like it just, uh, for a bunch of different reasons. He published the identities of 16 people that were, had supposedly recruited to spy for the Russians. Trudeau, federal government were not amused. The RCMP ransacked his office at the Sun and Peter, Peter had, he told me, the secrets well hidden in about eight different places and they were never going to find who his source was. So they charged him under the Official Secrets Act, which is a very, very serious crime, or, or charge. And, but he said, no, nope, I'm not going to relent. I'm not going to give in. He, he stonewalled for a year, and eventually the charges were withdrawn. That's the type of person that Peter Worthington was. Um, he was very political, very conservative. He ran twice federally, once for the conservatives, and uh, didn't win. Ran again as an independent, came in second. And then at that point, it was, I guess, 1984, he decided he was going to retire. But Peter's ver version of retirement was writing 40 to 50 hours a week and coming into the office, which he did until about two months before he died or a month before he died. His office, I knew him for the last, I didn't know him well uh, other than the last five years, but I had the, the real pleasure of having many long conversations with him over the last five years. And he was a compass for everyone at the Sun. So, oh, uh, if there was a big issue or a big story, going, people would go and the editors would go and uh, talk to him to see what Pete's opinion was. And I can remember being in a meeting that uh, he, he had written something and our lawyers had said to us, I think you have a problem, right? And so we called Pete in and, and Peter would go, it's not a problem. He says, I just filed another story for tomorrow. He says, uh, and he was just, and this was, uh, this was just a, a year, he was in his 80s at the time. So, um, 
you know, he was a big part of what made the Sun successful. He was a big part of the Telegram. He was just a giant, I believe, in Canadian journalism. He's the type of individual. He was a war veteran. Uh, he was fearless. And he was also very modest. He, he would hate the fact that we're here talking about him today. I know that for a fact. Uh, he was a great man. And, um, you know, he is missed and will always be remembered uh, by the, uh, those he touched.